Okay, so the other day I had Zen Zeal on YouTube ask me, can you show how to remove the rear bumper? Well Zen, this is the video. First thing you have to do is start by opening the trunk. Um, go ahead and pop off the rear garnish. I made a video on that. I'll have the link in the description below. After that, we're going to pull off the tail lights. There's four 8mm uh, nuts on each one of them. Once you have the nuts off, pull it out. Be careful, don't drop it. Then there's a little clip right here you can disconnect. There you go. Same thing on the other side. Pull it out. So this one has an extra wire because there was an aftermarket spoiler that had a brake light in it. Um, you probably won't encounter this long bit of wire that comes out with this. This is something a previous owner of the vehicle had done. So pull that out. Next you're going to need some channel locks to pull all these Phillips heads. Use the channel locks to hold it in place while you back it out. Alright, so when we get to this one here, I actually ended up blowing it out because it was seized up. Um, so I completely stripped it, I tried to get it with the, the impact driver, did not work. I didn't want to strip this one out. So what I did was I went and got some WD-40 and I'm going to spray it under them to loosen them up a little bit, nothing crazy. And then I'm going to come back with the channel locks. So it's not really that big a deal. Get a good grip on it. Wiggle it side to side. There you go. Do the same thing for this one. I just went ahead and loosened up all the rest of the metal ones. Uh, in case any of those wanted to give us an issue. So I tried to get this one back out with the Phillips head screwdriver. Did not work. So I'm going to come back to that one with the channel locks and pull it out the rest of the way with that. As you can see, after loosening those, those gave us no issue. Go ahead and just finish this one up with these. All right, then come over here to the one up under the tail light. Finish both of those up. So that makes all nine. Next, under the fender here, there's going to be a screw. Um, you might end up seeing like a 10 millimeter bolt under there. I'm not sure if these screws were original. They look to be like OEM spec with um, washers built on them, but I'm not sure. So just keep that in mind. It might be like a 10 mil. There we go. That side's loose. Same thing over on the other side. Now we go up under the car. There's two more 10 millimeters. Um, don't drop the bumper on your face because that's what happened to me. And I cut it out of the video. Don't worry about it. You didn't see nothing. Anyway, 
So you got the two, uh, two 10 millimeters right here. Go ahead and pull them off. And then uh, you can come up here, pull the bumper off. There you go. And that's how you remove the bumper on the back of a Del Sol. So um, if this helped, like, comment, subscribe. Any of those will help me. Thanks for your time.